Hi everyone, I'm John from Proteic Labs and this is session number five, Generating Mesh. This video will teach you all you need to know about generating mesh in ANSYS Workbench. Let's get started. What is meshing? Meshing is the discretization of a component into a number of small elements of defined size. Finite element analysis would divide a geometry into various small numbers of elements. These elements are connected to each other at points called nodes. Each node may have two or more than two elements connected to it. A collection of these elements is called a mesh. After completing this session, you will be able to launch ANSYS meshing, understand ANSYS meshing interface, meshing methods, generate section views of models, understand the concepts of generating a mesh, refine the mesh, optimize the design of a model. What is finite element model? The finite element model, FEM, is a numerical approximation method which investigates the behavior of complex structures by breaking it down into smaller, simpler pieces. These smaller pieces are called finite or elements. The elements are connected to each other at nodes. These elements and nodes are also called meshes. The assembly of elements and nodes is called a finite element model. There are different mesh types. Mesh elements can be 1D, 2D, or 3D elements in function of the model to simulate. 1D elements are used when length of the structure is 8 to 10 times greater than its width and thickness and when external loads are applied only to the joints. There are three types of 1D elements. One, rod element. The rod undertake only compression. 2.1, truss or bar element. Truss undertake tension and compression. Three, beam element. The beam undertake tension, compression, shear, and moment. 2D elements. 2D elements are used when length and width of the structure is significantly larger than its thickness. There are different types of 2D elements. One, plate. Two, membrane. Three, surface. Four, plane strain. Five, composite shell. 3D elements. There are two main types of 3D elements. One, tetrahedral elements, which has four faces four nodes, and two hexahedral elements, which has six faces, eight nodes. Second order elements, called also quadratic elements, add one middle node to each edge. Then it becomes quadratic elements. The calculation is more accurate for hexahedral elements than tetrahedral elements. And it's more accurate for second order elements because the approximation function will be quadratic instead of linear. Thank you, John, for defining mesh, mesh type, elements, and other essential parameters of meshing. In this video, you will create the model of a square plate with oblong cutout. Next, you will open the meshing window and then generate a mesh with the relevance of O. The following steps are required to complete this tutorial. Open ANSYS Workbench window and add the Mesh Component System. Create the model. Generate a mesh for the model. Create Section View. Save the project and exit ANSYS Workbench. To get started, open an ANSYS Workbench session and then add the Mesh Component System to the project schematic window. Next, rename the Mesh Component System as AM001. After renaming the system, go to File and select the Save button to save the project. Choose your preferred location and save the project with the name AM001. Now, we'll create the model before we can start meshing it. Or alternatively, we can also import the model geometry as step file.
Now open the design modeler window to create the model. Double click on the geometry cell. The design modeler window along with ANSYS workbench dialog box is displayed. Select millimeter radio button and then click OK to apply millimeter as the unit. In the design modeler window, select XY plane from the tree outline to specify it as the sketching plane. Next, orient the plane normal to the viewing direction by using the look at tool. Next, select the sketching tab to invoke the sketching mode. Create a rectangle and dimension it as per the drawing given in the exercise book. Change the default dimension values for H1 and V2 to 50. Next, extrude the sketch to the depth of 10 mm symmetry by using Extrude tool. Provide depth value as 5 mm for both sides. Next, select the Generate option. Now, switch to Isometric view. Hide the first sketch from the model for better clarity. Now, we need to create a new plane to add the second feature. We are going to create a plane on front face. Select from face option from the type drop down list. Click on yellow highlighted tab and select the front face. Click on apply button. Click on generate button now. Next, click on look at tool. Now, we need to draw a sketch for oblong cutout. Switch to the sketching mode and draw an oval on the model as per drawing. And dimension it as per the drawing. Dimension values are provided in the exercise book. After creating sketch, click on the Extrude button. Then, click on Apply button. Next, select the Cut Material option from the Operation drop-down list. Select to Faces option from the Extent Type drop-down list. Next, click on yellow highlighted tab to display apply and cancel buttons. Now, select the back face of the model so the extrude cut will end here. Next, click on apply button. And then click on the generate button. Now, you can see that the model is created as per the drawing. We can hide the sketch from the tree outline for better model clarity. Exit the design modeler window to return to the ANSYS workbench. Now we need to go to the meshing window to generate the mesh. To do that, right click on mesh cell and refresh the project. 
Still, it is refreshing. You can see the busy icon at the bottom left corner. Next, double click on mesh cell and wait for some time for mesh window to open. Right click on mesh in the tree outline and then choose generate mesh option from the shortcut menu. Mesh is created with default settings. After the mesh is generated in the graphics screen, you need to create section view to visualize the element types created. Now, right click on graphics window and select the option view and choose front view. Choose the new section plane tool from the graphics toolbar. The section plane window is displayed. Next, click, hold and drag to draw a horizontal line at the middle of the model. Section is created now. In the section planes window, you can deselect the section as shown. And also you can see the elements by clicking on Show Whole Elements Options. Now set the model to ISO view. After meshing the model, you need to save the file before you exit the ANSYS Workbench session. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.